Qu'est-ce qui fait défaut Souvent, c'est le imam. That's what we are missing. One, once we believe, then we enter in the state that we understand that everything proceeds from Allah. And everything lead to Allah. Every goodness is from Him. Every trial is from Him. Every fate is from Him. Every destiny written by Him. Subhanallah. But we are not believing as we should. Baraka, elle ne vient pas simplement avec une simple action. Il y a un état de croyance dessus. Celui qui croit que son Seigneur est là pour le défendre, Allah viendra le défendre. C'est une croyance. L'intervention d'Allah Azawajal, elle répond à un état de cœur où le serviteur il invoque son Seigneur au fond de son cœur. Sinon, sans cet état-là, qu'est-ce qu'on remplit On remplit comment Il a dit Darwin, on descend alors on descend du singe. Oui. C'est avec quoi la majeure partie des humains ils sont d'accord aujourd'hui. Pourquoi Parce qu'on est tombé dans un temps de matérialisme, de science, où tout il y a, dépend de la science. Il faut que ce soit rationnel, qu'il y ait une explication. Yahoo, you cannot measure your love. You cannot put it on the table. It is an emotion. Show us your love. Show us your feeling. So show us your emotion. Measure it. What creates all this palpitation and this creativity in the mind of human? What creates sorrow? What creates hope? What creates aim to accomplish and to achieve? What creates endeavor in human being? It proceeds from a secret that he tells. But difference between life and death is by the name of Allah. Oh Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tout ce qui ne débute pas par la mention du nom du Seigneur n'a pas de fruit. Quelle que soit l'action, quel que soit le... Il n'a pas de fruit où Alors on est dans un mode de causalité. Si tu pousses quelqu'un, il recule. Si tu manges, ça rentre. Tu avales et tu prends l'énergie. Mais le fruit dont le prophète sur la salle en parle, c'est le fruit. La hakika, le fruit de la réalité. 
le fruit qui, une fois que tu le récoltes, tu, tu, le, tu te délectes de sa saveur pour l'éternité. Mais nous ne croyons pas. C'est Nabou Akram Sadek. Il a dit, le jour où j'ai compris que Allah Azza il s'occupait de moi et mon Rizak, cette préoccupation a quitté mon être. Il est à Sadek. Bien sûr. He had a state of heart that we cannot because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said about him if you take his Iman and the Iman of every other creation his Iman is heavier what a measure and inshallah mais l'adage dit la foi bouge des des montagnes means with faith You can move mountains. How? Because we saw through the life of prophets, the life of messengers, they were the most weak ones in some part of their life. But they had the support of Allah. Allah <coughs> Sheikh. Voilà, Cheikh Nazim, la salle One time, he said such a sentence. He said, I'm not daif. I am very weak. I am an old one, very weak. But if I have the support of my Cheikh, I will be the most powerful one on earth. Et acknowledge, il a, il a dit, je suis, je suis faible, je suis, je suis vieux, je suis démuni. Mais si mon cher me donne de son pouvoir et de son support, je serai le plus puissant sur terre. How? Cette croyance, cette croyance en son Seigneur, parce que quand il parle de son cher, c'est la mesure du respect, c'est la mesure de l'humilité. Aoulia, dire qu'ils prennent d'Allah, ils sont gênés. Dire qu'ils reçoivent du prophète sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ils sont gênés. Alors ma chère, il nous disait même, Juste à dire, quand tu dois mentionner Hasm al-Husna, les noms et attributs divins, il a dit juste, tu es gêné de dire que Allah, il est miséricordieux et toi, tu as de la miséricorde. Parce que tu ne peux pas comparer l'océan infini de miséricorde avec la goutte qui peine ton être. Il a dit même appeler Allah Azawajal à travers ses noms et ses attributs quand le serviteur, son cœur, il est imprégné de Iman, il est imprégné de Taqwa, il est gêné. Parce que ses attributs, il en, il en perçoit la réalité. Ar-Rahman. If Allah Azza wa Jal was to open the first <coughs> smell, the fragrance that comes from that name on all creations, who can comprehend the greatness of his Rahman? No one. 
it will make every creation as many as they are as numerous as they are to drown from eternity in an infinite love he is Allah how we can comprehend his attributes al karim Seven billion humans, seven hundred billion genes. How many angels? How many insects? How many trees? How many plants? How many atoms? How many zara, zahra? How many universes? On disait la dernière fois, si on se met tous ensemble, le nombre d'atomes qu'il y a dans le doigt d'un humain, on peut pas compter. Tous les humains ensemble, on peut pas compter. Chaque, chaque atome, il a son nom. Chaque atome, il a son décor. Chaque atome, Allah lui a donné une, 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 un souffle de lumière. Chaque atome. Et c'est rien pour Allah de mettre un monde dans cet atome. But we are missing Iman. One time, Allah Sheikh Hisham was telling us the story that a murid was into state of determination, so his sheikh told him, oh my servant, oh my, my, uh, my disciple, go and take that mountain. I want you to go and swallow this mountain. Then he went. He went, as soon as the sheikh said, he stood up and started walking toward the mountain. And he walked, he walked, he walked. As he was advancing, the mountain was diminishing. He was advancing, it was diminishing. It was a, until he reached the mountain, he found in front of him a little stone. He took it and swallowed it. And said, I never taste anything alike in this world. SubhanAllah. <laughs> We are thinking it is fairy tales. We are thinking it is fairy tales. How many people you saw coming to the Sheikh? Oh Sheikh, I am sick. So many witnesses. Oh, what you have? They are giving me six months to live. I have a cancer phase four. I didn't witness with Mawlana Sheikh. Those people are not still running on earth today. This is a simple detail. They believe in Karamatul Awliya. Et ils ont cru. Ils sont allés voir les gens d'Allah pour demander Shifa, leur intercession. Combien de gens ont eu des scénarios dans leur vie qui étaient abracadabra. Ils ont cru, ils sont allés, ils ont demandé. Mais nous manquons de cet état de foi de comprendre que chaque chose procède dans nous. Nous avons des inquiétudes. Nous a, on est tout le temps euh, worried. Inquiet. Anxieux. On est tout le temps anxieux de ce qui s'en vient. Yahoo, c'est quand la dernière fois que tu n'as pas mangé C'est quand la dernière fois que tu n'as pas eu un toit sur ta tête Il y a des passes difficiles. Chacun, il passe à travers les passes. On avait un frère qui était là tout de suite. Il a laissé dix enfants à lui, en Turquie. Parce que c'est un Syrien qui, a, qui, qui, qui était de la ville de Raqqa. Ils ont complètement détruit. Après la difficulté, Allah donne la facilité. Inch'Allah pour lui, pour Ahlul Sham, pour Ahlul Yemen, pour tous ces innocents. Sur la terre de l'islam. Qu'Allah Azza wa 
leur accorde une bonne couverture. Amen. Mashallah, tonight we have Ahlul Sham, the people of Sham here. One, two, three people from Sham. And we forget uh, the, the crown of the Abdullah. <laughs> and we can feel even in the majlis of Zikr their energy. You saw the Zikr tonight? Like a thousand people and it was running, running, running. Everyone is fasting. And everyone is tired. What made that Zikr to run with so much power? Ahlul Imma. There are hearts that are filled with power and reality from many anonymous ones, sitting anonymously. Because awliya, this is their majlis. Mm -hmm. They give. Mm -hmm. But if there is no one to ask what they give, for that process to give, you need hearts to be asking. So we are missing that state of heart to be yearning for Allah Azza to be asking and to be in state of Iman, believing. Believing. Ya Rabbi. I believe in you, in Allah. That is with me. Allow my is with me. Allow Hadiri, Allow Nadiri, Allow Shahidi. He is overseeing. He is omni seeing everything. He is omnipresent in every state. He is witnessing everything. Do we believe? No. Otherwise, where will be the complaint? On day of judgment, nous devons croire que Allah Azza wa Jal, il, il est présent en tout temps, en toutes circonstances, dans tous les états. Le jour du jugement dernier, Rana Shekishan nous racontait cette histoire que le grand chef il, il a dit. Il viendra un et Allah Azza wa va le questionner. Pourquoi tu m'as oublié Ya Rabbi, tellement d'épreuves. J'ai été éprouvé, j'ai été malade. Allah Azza wa Jal, he will say, il dira, Khazab. Tu es un menteur. Appelez-moi Seyna Ayoub alayhi salam. Et ils feront venir Seyna Ayoub alayhi salam, le prince des ascètes. Il a porté mille fois ta maladie. Pas un instant, son cœur et sa langue n'ont oublié son Seigneur. Quelle est cette excuse Un autre, il dira, j'étais trop occupé pour la besogne, le travail. Hein, ça, c'est notre excuse. Allah Azza wa Jal, il fera venir ceux de ces prophètes qui ont travaillé le plus, qui ont parachevé ce que 40 hommes ne peuvent pas faire. Et regarde, il a fait. Un autre, il dira, j'avais trop de pauvreté. Plus pauvre que les prophètes, plus pauvre que les prophètes, et dans Mohammed Abdallah Salatu Assalam, quand il a quitté ce monde, il avait une dette avec un, un marchand pour quelques kilos d'orge. Il avait laissé sa maille de, de guerre. He left. And this is what we know. Combien de fois Sadatuna Aisha, elle a dit 
nous avons passé combien de temps sans pouvoir allumer le feu dans la maison Alors le prophète sallam, il a dit c'est Nabucodonosor qu'il avait il put a stone on his stomach to cool down pain from hunger. Et il a monté, il a dit il y a Abu Bakr et on a faim nous aussi. Il en avait deux. Nous aussi, ce soir, il y avait le couscous. On nous a honoré avec un couscous, machallah. Alors, tout Ahl al-Maghrib, ils étaient contents. Mais là, de Soudan, nos frères africains, on va dire, mais ça, ça ne remplit pas un Africain, ça. Alhamdulillah, le Baraka, ils ont amené le riz aussi. Alors, mal, malgré l'abondance, on se serait plaint sur ce qu'on a parce que ça ne remplit pas notre, notre goût ou notre habitude. C'est notre nature. Si on nous donne le poulet, on veut l'agneau. Si on nous donne l'agneau, on dit où est le poisson. Il hein? n'y a pas un qui ne se plaint pas qu il y a pas de, qui, quand, quand il n'y a pas d'agneau. Où est l'agneau Machallah. Vous n'avez pas vu cette vidéo avec les, les petits Syriens Ils sont en train de ramasser par terre les miettes de pain. Et il raconte. Il dit tous les jours, on sort, et parce qu'ici, il partage, on ramasse des choses pour pouvoir manger. Et on lui demande s'il a mangé la viande, il dit oui. Il continue à ramasser, ils sont là, les enfants, ils sont en train de ramasser. Qu'est-ce qu'ils disent On a eu le poulet, machallah, on a eu un morceau de poulet le jour de l'Id, on a partagé avec, tout, avec tous les enfants. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Quand le serviteur, il est heureux de ce qu'il a dans la main. Et il mange sur chaque bouchée comme un plat ma'ida qui est descendu des cieux par son Seigneur pour lui. That's how we should be thankful and so so happy from every favor Allah Azza wa Jal gave us. Amen. Every goodness is ni'matullah. Amen. We have to believe. Amen. Because one day we will lose it. <laughs> one day what was pleasant on your tongue might be bitter. One day, what is your state of health might be gone. From one day to the others. Mm -hmm. Look, now we have a network, social media. Mm -hmm. Is there one week that passed that you don't have? Uh, mm -hmm. They tell you this one is dead, or this one is sick, or this one is dead. Every week we have. Every week. Around us. So we have to believe. Allah Azza wa Shal called the believer to believe. Not only that he believes, but the, the one that he called the believer has to believe more. Amen. And Prophet Sallallahu says, be a believer until they say you are crazy. <coughs> What it means? Because we run with rationality. No, I believe in Allah. I believe. Je suis, je, je crois en Allah. Ça, c'est la prérogative des hommes. 
l'hégémonie des superpuissances. Ils sont là depuis 50 ans, ils sont là depuis 100 ans, ils sont là pour depuis 200 ans. Ils pensent que c'est pour toujours. Nemrod, il est parti dans une journée sur un moustique. Pharaon, il est parti dans une journée sur une vague. Aujourd'hui, vous ne trouvez plus personne pour nous raconter son histoire. Même quelqu'un qui parle sa langue, ça n'existe pas. Regarde la civilisation. C'est pas petit. Travel to Messer and go to look. Who were these people that built this gigantic? What kind of means and power they had? And knowledge. Allah made them to disappear to the point that you cannot find one that speaks their language. Everyone was looking at this, amazed, saying, Who built this? Oh, it's the pharaohs. But who are their descendants? Where they, how is the science that allowed them to build this? They told us so, so many stories. <laughs> Allah Azza wa Jal made this gigantic monument for us to witness, to understand, and to take wisdom. Yeah. Allah swear that everything will disappear except the face of Allah Azza wa Jal. We have to believe. It's the secret ingredient. But we complain about everything. Everything is a problem for us. Because we don't give praise to Allah Azza wa Jal from what we have and we don't believe in all the favor that are given to us. We don't believe that everything is from Him and everything will be taken by Him. Don't. They were asking a question last week. With such a place, we feel Barak. I say in a place that belong to, that is under the authority of Awliya and Shuyu, everything is blessing, even with the air you breathe. Don't underestimate the food you eat. Mawlana Sheikh, when people visit in Cyprus, he used to say, you are coming here for a reason. You are coming here for a spiritual tune-up, alignment, and opening. Everything will be enlightenment for you. Mm -hmm. Everything, mm -hmm. from every bite you take, everything you drink, every association you sit, every effort you make, everyone you cross, everyone you look. Our hand is in everything. Don't underestimate what is running through such a place. Sometimes one person will come and Maulana Sheikh I remember Mawlana Sheikh told him when he was coming to ask permission to leave. He was there for several weeks. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim told him, wait, change your ticket. Oh, Sheikh, it's difficult. No, no, try, change, three more days, it's expensive. He went and changed the ticket three more days. He completed. Then he came to see Mawlana Sheikh. Three days after he was going to leave. And Mawlana Sheikh looked at him and said, Oh, mashallah. 40 days. We were able to take you in a seclusion. He himself didn't count how many days he was there. 
And Mawlana Sheikh didn't ask him, when did you arrive? He was just asking, coming and Mawlana told him, change the ticket at three more days. Then he said, because of that, you completed 40 days here. Then he used to tell us, you know, when we go to, to Cyprus, we are Western people. We are Western people, whatever you say. We are coming from Western countries with a lot of taste. So when uh, it's uh, food time, because in Cyprus you have two meals served. There is a brunch, big breakfast, around 11 in the morning, and you have supper around 7, 7 o'clock like that. So you better eat a good brunch. <laughs> but the tourists like us, mm -hmm. especially if you go for the supper, so the pot is big like that. It's full of patata and beans. Maybe one of or two bones. bones. <laughs> and they will put some to give the flavor. So after one day, after two days, after three days, you feel missing uh, something chewy in your mouth. So where we go? To the kebab shop. In the small village, so many people coming to visit Maulana Sheikh Nazim, you have kebab shop everywhere for them. <laughs> and when you enter, you have pictures of Maulana Sheikh. <laughs> they believe, they don't believe, they accept, they don't accept. Especially in Lefke, all of them, a uh, strange mentality, half communist, half nationalist. You enter any shop, you have Ataturk standing there. But when you enter the kebab place, you have put Maulana. You are always Ataturk is there, mashallah. <laughs> But you have more than a share. So we come and uh, yani, we order. And you can see, you go through the village, on all these terrace is uh, people from Moritz from UK, Moritz <laughs> from Germany, Moritz from Holland, or most, most fancy plates are the North Americans. <laughs> and what Maulana will say? Why you go to eat in such places? You travel all, all this place to come for a spiritual enlightenment. I am feeding you through the Derga with a food that is blessed by Grand Sheikh. Every bite of it is cleansiness. Every bite of it is Shifa. Then, where we are not fancy enough, where we go when we want to rest? Hotel. <laughs> we, we go to the hotel. Uh, especially Lef Lefke Garden. <laughs> it's the most fancy hotel in this little town that is completely lost. You have this huge hotel, Lefke Garden. You enter into it, nine out of ten are murids of Maulana <laughs> And what Maulana Sheikh said, why you go there? Don't come all the way here and spend your money into these fancy places. Come in the Derga, come in the Zawiya. Sleep, there is a blessing, there is a, a presence in that place. You don't know who are coming and who is present and what kind of light is there. But, oh, Sheikh, we are used to fancy mattresses, <laughs> air conditioning, and when we enter into the Derga, too many pe peasants <laughs> snoring and yelling and 
They are waking us up at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock. We want to sleep up to 10 o'clock. We are jet lags. <laughs> he was there. This is our condition. We don't know where is the favor. We don't know where is the favor. A bite can be given to you. A bite, a piece of bread. For the entire earth, it will be molecules just to feed their physicality. For a few, that bread will enlighten their being and make them to go for me'arash. Amen. Depending who is giving the bread, what they put into it, and who is receiving the bread. It's the same piece of bread. But there is a heavenly manifestation, a heavenly ingredient, a heavenly presence. That comes with belief that we are losing. Don't underestimate, don't underestimate presence of Allah Azza wa Jal in everything around you. Give it value. Look, look for it. Amen. Look for it in every matter. Your Lord will never deceive you. If you come to him walking, he will come to you running. If you come to him running, he will come to you flying. If you come one step, he will not make 10 steps, he will come 100 steps or 1,000 steps and not human steps. This is Prophet saying, but we are not believing. May Allah Azza wa Jal enlighten us, give us good understanding through these holy months of Ramadan, give us the blessing of this time. Accept our song. Make us to fast from our bad manners. Amen. May Allah Azza wa Shal bless all presents. Amen. Those that came Amen. from far away. Amen. Those traveling from other cities. Amen. May Allah Azza wa Shal bless those that made us to have this suhoor, this iftar. Amen. Every effort, every grain of rice, every Amen. grain of couscous Amen. to be an ed endless blessing upon Amen. their families. Amen. And inshallah for the soul of the mother of Sumeya, one of the meal was offered for her soul. Allah Allah have mercy on her Amen. and grant her this endless rahmah Amen. and gaze of light Amen. and light her grave in the garden of paradise Amen. and grant her to be under shafat to Nabi and for our, the mother of our sister Madina Amen. that passed away today Allah Azza wa shall receive her in this holy month of rahmah she was into a, an age that Allah Azza wa shall raise Ya she was over 90, like 94. Allah Azza wa Jal says over 80 is shy in front of his servant. May Allah receive her with the best disposition, grant, grant her to be raised among the Salihin, and make us to follow them on good ways for our best last day to be the best day. Our meeting with Allah Azza wa Jal to be on a disposition of victory Amen. and rahmah and nur Amen. and maghfirah. Amen. Amen.